Hey guys, how you doing? Steve Lav here. On this video here, I got a call from this guy. Um, he had a hydronic heating system, an old style monoflow system. Uh, first floor was all cast iron radiators, which is really nice. And second floor just had three small um, little cast iron, small tube radiators stand up type of radiators old style and he only had one loop on the first floor with rises going to the second floor so the first floor um thermostat uh you know would would control the whole system and second floor would never get hot enough so i told him i could go over there and run another monoflow loop and uh tie in the second floor into the new loop and you know block off the first floor monoflow t so first and second floor would have its own thermostat its own circulator its own zone so that's what i did on this um so and at the end i show you what a monoflow t looks like i just put a little copper loop in there it's, it's just little three little small radiators so the three quarter loop was enough usually you know it's one inch inch and a quarter loop uh for big volume system but this this was this worked fine uh for this application it's just a tiny little house um you know Actually, the second floor was even smaller than the sala because the way the way the uh, the way it was made. So anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. We got here is an old monoflow system. One loop around the whole basement with monoflow tees. And it's feeding uh, cast iron baseboard on the first floor. And three cast iron radiators on the second. And uh, monoflow tee right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a separate loop for the second floor. What I'll do is I'll just cut this and put plugs in here. There's three radiators on the second floor that I gotta pick up off this loop. I'm gonna run a loop around the basement off another circulator. change this to one inch I'll go one by three quarter and I'll put a three quarter to drain in the end and my other circulator will be on this end got another relay I'm going to change that feed is bad too and change that I'll make a three-quarter loop around the basement and pick up what I need to. Alright, I got the two circulators out. And back this off. Back this off and then change this T and this T. Three quarter, then one inch will pick up the two, and then inch and a quarter into the boiler. And this one, that's all we need. This three quarters too small for two, two zones. That'll be one inch. Uh, for me, I got all different sizes. You know, one inch, inch and a half, inch and a quarter nipple. I keep in that tray. Any fittings, miscellaneous black fittings I got in here. I'll pick what I need at the supply house, but if I, like now, you know, I needed some nipples, I got them there. My hanging stuff. You 
you gotta have what you you gotta have the stuff you need in the truck or you're in trouble. Alright, there's two different sizes of football gaskets. That's the big one. Which I'm not a big fan of those. And these are the smaller ones, which I like better. And I can use those big ones on that inch and a quarter. And I use some. Um, I like to double them up. That's what I like to do. I need some coin vents too for some of them in the house. That's four. Probably four or five that I need. Change. A lot of these new circulars, they got a check valve on the bottom here, a plastic check. That one has it. This one doesn't. He's got the flow check over there. You can see it. So it's cheaper just to do it this way. Let me show you what it's. There's a gasket that goes in there. But I like to use you know, secondary. I use two gaskets on all of them. So all these, I added the football gasket. Because I already had the gaskets that were in there. Um, that's how I'm going to do that. I got my loop on and the hang is basically. I'm going to put a T here and jump up and that's going to be my loop going over. I put it all in hangers. And I'm run over here. I got to pick these two up here. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going past, I'm going to turn right here, I'm going to hang it right there. You see it? Then I'm going to jump up. I'm going to jump up to this elevation. Resting on that board. And then this board here. And then I'm going to jump down here. <laughs> These two here are coming out, gonna be capped. See them two going up, them two half inch. I gotta put two monofill tees here to pick up that second floor. And I'll run over here, I'll turn. Turn here. And here's my pipe again, going, going down, all the way down. I got it hung again. I'm gonna run all the way over here. Obviously, I got a, a, a couple, and I gotta take a pot and solder, and then I'll drop down and put a couple of one-inch clips so it misses that, that wire. And there's two more I gotta pick up here with a couple of T's. here run all the way over and down into the circulator that'll be my loop hang it here and it'll come straight down into the circulator so that'll be the supply it'll wrap all the way around Pick up three radiators on the second floor. <laughs> what I gotta do now is uh, cut this and um, cut the, the th six risers going up, and I can cap them.
through six of them. Three sets. Three rises. And three returns. zoned got valves so we can isolate it if there's a problem at work on one part of the system I'm going all the way over here and a couple of rises here two monoflow T's this one is the supply and that one is the return so that one's gonna push and that one's gonna pull and they'll feed that second floor radiator Jump up here with a couple of forty fives. Jump down here. Run over. A couple of four more water floaties. I'm just doing a little video on my the job I did. Turn here. Coupling. 
Bingo Bowl. Let's do the new circulator. Electrician just came left and wired it. Put his control there. I had to change the water feeder. This was bad too. Second floor. Yeah. Look inside, that's a monofold T. It's got a little cone in there. If you went through this way, this would be the return. Okay, if it went through this way, it would pull through that little monofold T. If you turn it this way, and the water's coming in this way, this would be the supply. It's going to push it up. See how it's a cone? It's going to push the water up. So supply would go this way if the water's coming in. And it would push it up. And if it was the return on the other side, you put it this way, the water would go through and create a venturi and pull the water. It's a, a monoflow T. Venturi T. Same thing. Okay, depends on what direction you put it is what it's going to perform, supply or return. Either it's going to push or it's going to pull. Pretty simple. <laughs> 